I googled multiple choice questions on sampling distributions and found a bunch of different pages, including this one. We haven't covered all of this. It's from a different text. Clearly, it says chapter 16. But it will give us an idea of what somebody else is doing and how they might word it. And so as we go through this, I'll read the question. And then I recommend you pause the video, think about your answer. And when you're ready to go on, press play to continue. Number one says, which of the following symbols represents a population parameter? Pause it now. OK. the Population parameter is going to be sigma, generally Greek letters, sigma, mu, perhaps a capital N, a P, or a pi. Or the, the choice C is correlation. That comes from my actual data. Choice A, I presume, means standard deviation, or what we've called S, which comes from my data. D is just a zero, uh, so that's not it. And number one is B. Number two, if you drew all possible samples from some population, calculated the mean for each of the samples, and constructed a line graph showing the shape of the distribution based on all those means, what would you have? Well, in this case, what you'd have is a sampling distribution, choice C. All possible samples and the means for each of those. Choice A, the population distribution, is what you would get if you graphed each individual item in the population. And I suppose choice B is what you would get if you graphed each sample or each item in the sample. Uh, but the sampling distribution has all possible samples, and I'm looking at the mean of each of those. We haven't done the next few, uh, but let's look at number seven. I didn't talk about this during teaching of, uh, the teaching of this chapter, but the standard deviation of a sampling distribution is called the standard error. We refer to that as sigma over the square root of n, or uh, the square root of p times 1 minus p over n. The subset question, number 9, a blank is a subset of a blank. The population is broken up into samples. So choice A, the sample is a subset of the population. We also did numbers 10 and 11. Number 10 says a blank is a numerical characteristic of a sample, and a blank is a numerical characteristic of a population. Well, samples are described with statistics, and populations are described with parameters, so 10 is C. Number 11, a sampling distribution might be based on which of the following? Sampling distributions could be based on anything that go with statistics. So number 11 is D, all of the above. We didn't mess with correlations here. We don't do that in AP statistics. But correlation comes from your data. If I graphed a bunch of R's and went from there, I'd have a sample correlation sampling distribution. Let's skip a few of these. A good way to get a small standard error is to use a blank. So how do I make standard error small? Larger samples, choice C. Cruising down to number 22, a blank is the standard deviation of a sampling distribution. That's the standard error, choice A. Uh, I referred to it previously as sigma over square root of n. Uh, sometimes it's referred to simply as s over the square root of n. And we'll get there in the next chapter. Uh, but for our sake, sigma over square root of n, same, same kind of idea. Skipping a few more of these, let's get down and read number 27. The use of the laws of probability to make inferences and draw statistical conclusions about the populations based on sample data is referred to as blank. That's B, infer inferential statistics. Using statistics to infer things about the population based on what we saw from the sample data. Moving down a little bit, uh, we'll look at number 35 is good, something we haven't really done. 
but it says, what's the key question in statistical estimation? Read those choices. Well, the point of using statistics to make estimates is based on the ramp random sample. Not, not B, A, based on the random sample. What's the estimate of the population parameter? A. Maybe all that we've done so far. You see the other answers are down here at the bottom. If you want to look at those, uh, you could do that as well. Or there's the website address where I got those things. So there's you a few ideas of somebody else's multiple choice questions regarding sampling distribution.